On this Tech Tuesday, we're teaching you all about microns. In front of me today, I have a few different versions of the chem filters that we have. And keep in mind, there's a number of different filters out there. Specifically, some filter styles that we carry are water filters, fuel filters, and chemical filters. Chemical filters are a critical component for all pressure washing setups. And this is because most chemical is actually mixed from a dry substrate. And that dry substrate can crystallize and form debris down at the bottom of your chemical tank, whether it's a large one or a small one. In these cases, it can also attract sand, and then you get these globs of debris that have to be separated before they're drawn into your line through a chem injector and then out through your gun and nozzle. Without a filter, this crystallized debris, sand, and other particulates can clog other accessories or nozzles. This inexpensive part will prevent costly downtime and delays when you're on the job. In order to use a chem filter, it's very important that you have a chem injector. And all pressure washers have a chem injector. They look something like this. This happens to be an adjustable version, and it would go after the unloader. In this case, this is marked as a 2.3, and this would indicate that it's for a higher volume machine. What happens is that there's a nozzle on one side. The nozzle creates a vacuum through the Venturi effect, and it draws through your chemical tube and hence through your filter. Its most basic design would look something like this, where you've got your chem injector pulling from a hose, that's attached to your chem filter, which is dropped into your tank. At MTM Velocity, we have six different versions of chem filters. Five of them come with a check valve, and one of them does not. That's simply because most chem injectors already have a check valve inside, so that it prevents backflow. Backflow can dilute your chem tank. The reason that there are plastic and metal versions has to do with microns. The microns, or the size of the hole, for plastic, is actually going to be much larger. So it's about 1.5 millimeters, which is 1,500 microns. The mesh size for the metal versions is much smaller. And so this is gonna be closer to about 400 microns. This is going to prevent smaller debris from getting through the line. We offer two versions with a spring and check valve. And that would mean that there is a ball with a spring that compresses the ball against the seat to maintain restriction of backflow if the chem filter is in an upward position. For example, this does not have a spring. So you can hear the ball rattling back and forth. While the pressure of water, if it were reversed, would likely push that ball up against the seat and prevent backflow, this unit, upside down, sideways, doesn't matter, has a spring that compresses the ball against the seat so that unless there is a vacuum created, there can be no backflow. Chem filters are an inexpensive component to your pressure washing setup. And if you ever need to replace them, be sure to purchase the correct filter size for your application.